Hey there, this is Clay, and today I have some very bad news for you. Um, I've been kind of reading through some responses that people have sent in, some emails that people have sent in, uh, some surveys that people have filled out, and uh, you know, I've just been trying to get a feel for where people are at, what people want to know about, how we can help people better, and I've noticed a disturbing trend in some of these statements, and that's that a lot of people seem to believe that there is some kind of magic quality about um, the no contact rule that will somehow save their relationship, that somehow, you know, you don't talk to your ex for 30 days, then on day 31, you're back together, uh, you're getting married, boom, it's all done. And I hate to dispel this, um, you know, fantasy and tell you that it's not going to be that way. You know, the no contact part is just the first step in the process. After that, you know, you will be able to contact your ex. Um, you should be able to get them to respond to you, to meet up with you and all that stuff and to uh, start seeing you, but it's still going to take a little while before the two of you start getting back together. And I'm not saying that this has to be like a, a, a very painful, torturous thing at all. Uh, we actually had a client recently who described this process as one of the most enjoyable things in his life. He said he felt like he was in high school again, like, like he was a kid again. Um, you know, going through that that experience of like, you know, you got a crush on a girl and you're not sure how she's gonna respond and you know, you're like, oh my God, there she is over there. Should I, should I hold her hand? Should I go in for the kiss? And he was so, he was so excited by that because he had never felt that way with a woman before. Um, and, and he was just really enjoying that ride of really experiencing what it's like to fall in love all over again. And I think everyone has a lot of fond memories from their first love and you know you can actually enjoy that with your ex you can really enjoy having that experience all over again um, but again you know the no contact rule that is really the first step that just gets you in the game that gets you on the playing field uh, what happens then is you have to use the relational strategies that you have cultivated during that one month of active no contact if you've been following our advice um, otherwise all bets are off um, and you know you want to use those to really date your ex and start to have this experience where you can start building more positive memories and positive experiences between the two of you so that you know she your ex wants to get back together with you um, you know just just cutting contact with them isn't going to make them want to get back together with you you have to have some positive experiences to really lay the foundation for the new relationship uh, and that is really the step that comes after the no contact rule. It's, it's, you know, going out there and dating them. It's going out there and having your first kiss again. It's going out there and holding hands for the first time again. It's going out there and having those like little awkward flirty moments where the two of you are just kind of like, uh, you know, looking away when you meet, when you make eye contact and kind of smiling bashfully and all that. It's about doing that. And, um, you know, I know you might be in pain right now, but you can really enjoy things a lot when you get to this stage. And this isn't something that you should try to leapfrog over or skip past because it can be a lot of fun and it's really necessary in the healing process. So I hope this helped to clear things up a little bit and I hope this helped you out. And if you'd like to get more help with your relationship and how to really get through your ex and bring them back into your life, uh, so that you can have a great relationship with them, the one that you know you were supposed to have before things went wrong, then head over to relationshipinnergame.com and sign up there. Thanks.